very kusil. Very kusil simply uh, is very cousins in the bambini form bliss. We all know that varicose veins mean dilatation, elongation, and torsuosity of veins. When varicose veins occur in the bambini form plexus, it is called varicose. What is bambini form plexus? Bambini form plexus is the venous drainage of the testis and the epididymis. It form a plexus in the scrotum when uh, progress upward in the inguinal canal uh, the membrane form plexus collects to form four to eight veins uh, then uh, the veins pass through the internal inguinal ring to the retroperitoneal tissue in the retroperitoneal tissue they form two veins which uh, unite together to form one testicular vein sure we have uh, right testicular vein and the left testicular vein um, what are the types and the classification of varicocele varicocele may occur uh, without detectable cause idiopathic and as any disease without detectable cause and idiopathic it is called primary varicocele may be primary but there are series the common type of varicocele is the primary varicocele like varicose veins in the lower limb and like varicose vein in the homoroidal venous plexus which is called bites um, the cause of uh, dilatation elongation and the tortuosity of veins may be due to congenital hereditary familial weakness of the mesenchyme leading to the mesenchyme form the wall of the veins the fibrous tissue of the body the muscles of the body if there is congenital familial hereditary mesenchymal weakness this lead to weakness of the wall of the veins leading to varicocele varicose veins in the lower limb and bites and due to muscle weakness there may be associated hernia due to weakness of uh, fibrous ligaments especially ligaments of the foot which carry the body weight weakness of ligaments of the foot leading to fillet foot also uh, dilatation elongation and tortuosity of uh, bambini form plexus may occur due to high venous pressure why there is high uh, venous pressure in the bambini form plexus due to continuous repeated congestion in the screw why congestion in the scrotum in the bambini form plexus repeatedly this usually occur in young age and in adolescence due to unsatisfied sexual desires this is the series for primer idiopathic varicocele which is the commonest <coughs> rarely varicocele may be secondary to another disease secondary to occlusion of testicular veins in the retroperitoneal tissue by tumor and in this case varicocele is secondary to another disease therefore it's called secondary varicocele 
what is uh, the cause of obstruction of testicular veins in the retroperitoneal tissue? Retroperitoneal sarcoma or this famous tumor which is called renal cell carcinoma which is famous to produce intravascular spread inside the renal vein or even in the inferior vena cava obstructing the venous drainage of left testicular vein or right testicular vein. Um, the fourth thing can be seal, which is rare, occur due to obstruction of testicular vein by renal cell carcinoma or retroperitoneal sarcoma. What is the incidence of varicocele? Um, varicocele present in about 40% of sterile males and it is the commonest cause for oligospermia and it is much much more common in young age due to unsatisfied sexual desire in adolescence. Um, Basologically, um, varicocele much more common on the left side than the right side. Why? Let us look for this uh, large picture. This is the left testicular vein pass obliquely to drain into the inferior vena cava and left the testicular vein which pass vertically upward in the left renal vein. Um, varicocele usually occur in about 80% of cases of varicocele on the left side due to many factors. The first factor is the left secular vein drain vertically into the left renal vein. Therefore, the column of blood in the left secular vein will affect the bambini form plexus on the left side. And there is higher pressure in the left bambini form plexus. Where oblique of the right testicular vein, this leading to lower pressure in the right bambini form plex. And the left testicular vein drain into the left renal vein. Opposite this vein, the testicular vein open in the left renal vein from below. And this vein drain into the left renal vein from above. This vein come from what? What is this yellow color? Gland above the kidney, which is the left suprarenal gland. And this is the left suprarenal vein containing catecholamines, adrenaline and drone adrenaline. High concentration of adrenaline and drone adrenaline here may lead to vasoconstriction in the left testicular vein interfering with the venous drainage of the left side in normal individual. In addition, on the left side, storage of feces occur on the left side. What present here? in front of left secular vein sigmoid colon or pelvic colon sigmoid colon or pelvic colon containing feces lie here may compress the left renal vein and um, the left secular vein drain into the left renal vein which commonly compressed as the left renal vein pass between these two arteries 
What is this large artery behind the left renal vein? It is the abdominal aorta. And what is this branch from the abdominal aorta? Superior mesenteric artery. Therefore, compression of left renal vein between aorta and superior mesenteric artery leading to retardation of venous circulation in the left renal vein. Retardation of venous circulation in the left testicular vein and high pressure in the left bambini form plexus and left varicocele. Um, all these uh, factors leading to varicocele, primary varicocele is much much more common on the left side than the right side. Um, pathologically, pathologically, as we take before in uh, varicose vein in the lower limb, uh, the condition is start by reflux of blood. Reflux of blood, the testicular vein containing valves, and valve incompetence occur, leading to reflux of blood from above downward, leading to increase venous pressure in the bambini form plex. Increase venous pressure in the bambini form plex is leading to dilatation, elongation, and tortuosity of the veins of the bambini form plex. Dilatation, elongation, and tortuosity of the bambini form plex. The bambini form plex is full of what? Full of blood which is warm this leading to increased temperature inside the scrotum increased temperature inside the scrotum this lead to relaxation of the thermostat of uh, the testes what is the thermostat of the testes the dartos and the cremasteric muscle in the scrotum act as a thermostat for the testes keeping the, te the temperature of the testes about 33.5 centigrade which is the optimum temperature for spermatogenesis due to high temperature due to varicocele dartus and the cremasteric muscle relax so that the testis becomes more dependent away from the high temperature of the body if this occurs relaxation of dartus and the cremasteric muscle the veins become the unsupported, leading to more dilatation, elongation, and tortuosity, leading to more temperature, leading to more relaxation. Therefore, it is essential feature in varicocele that uh, there is redundant scrotum, and the scrotum is on the affected side is much, much, much lower than the other side. Um, what are the grades of varicocele? The grades of varicocele, there are four grades. First of all, subclinical varicocele. Subclinical, not detected clinical. Detected only by duplex ultrasound. Grade one. Grade one, cannot be felt except by what is this valsalva maneuver during valsalva maneuver this lead to increase intra abdominal pressure leading to reflux of blood into the varicocele leading to distension of varicocele I can't uh, palpate varicocele except by distension, by Barzalva, Falsalva maneuver. This is grade one. Grade two, we can palpate without Falsalva, palpate varicocele, without Falsalva maneuver during standard. Grade three, no need to palpate varicocele. It is seen by inspection. There are four, there are four grades of varicocele subclinical detected by investigation duplex 
grade one, we should increase the intra-abdominal pressure due to reflux of blood from the abdominal testicular veins to the meniform plexus descended and it can be felt during valsal. Uh, grade two, we can palpate the varicocele without valsal maneuver during this time. Grade three, seen by inspection. What are uh, the complications of uh, varicocele? The main in complication, and usually the complaint of the patient is hypofertility or infertility. Why? In case of bilateral varicocele, oligospermia, and this is a common cause for oligospermia, and low viability and vitality of the sperms occur, leading to hypofertility and we all know that this is due to high temperature inside the scrotum due to high temperature inside the scrotum in long standing cases testicular atrophy may occur um, due to congestion in the scrotum absorption of fluid from the tunic vaginalis is impaired leading to collection of fluid between the two layers of the tunic vaginalis this is called secondary varicocele. Sure, the patient uh, knows that he has varicocele and his scrotum is redundant, and uh, his friend may uh, uh, joke about this, and uh, this produces psychological trouble. Uh, please remember uh, in all the following. Uh, scrotal disease uh, there are uh, four common complications in all the following scrotal disease infertility or hypofertility testicular atrophy secondary hydrocele and psychological trouble as very close vein in the lower limb as the blood pass slowly in the very close vein any blood pass slowly is liable for thrombosis thrombosis in varicose vein thrombosis in diseased vein this is called thrombophilipitis this is uh, the pathology and the complication of varicocele thank you for good listening and good luck we will continue in the next video